At the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau today, a simple question, who's the boss? The answer, it turns out, is not so simple. Protesters opposing President Trump and supporting the CFPB turned out this morning. While the president's choice as interim director, White House Budget Chief Mick Mulvaney brought donuts, his rival, Leandra English, emailed Thanksgiving wishes and met with Senate Democratic leaders. On Friday, outgoing director Richard Cordray tapped English, his chief of staff, to temporarily fill his shoes. But within hours, the president tapped Mulvaney, who today directed employees to disregard any further instructions from English. He also announced a 30-day freeze on hiring and new rulemaking. I'm just learning about the powers that I have as acting director. They would frighten most of you. Um, they would probably uh, worry you to think about how little oversight Congress has over me. But English maintains she has the legal authority to lead under the Dodd-Frank Act. That's the law that created the bureau. She filed a federal lawsuit Sunday night seeking to bar Mulvaney from assuming the post. The White House cites the Federal Vacancies Reform Act, which allows the president to fill openings. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders. I think the, the legal uh, outline shows very clearly who is in charge of that agency in both he and the White House. Uh, as well as the general counsel for CFPB said that he has the legal standing to be there and serve as the director. The CFPB was formed in 2011 as part of the response to the 2008 financial crisis. Its mission is to oversee financial institutions, to encourage them to make less risky decisions, and to safeguard consumers from financial fraud. Big banks and conservatives have long maligned the CFPB for being too powerful and lacking oversight. On Saturday, the president tweeted the CFPB, quote, has been a total disaster. Financial institutions have been devastated and unable to properly serve the public. Mulvaney himself has echoed those criticisms, as he did in this 2014 interview when he was a South Carolina congressman. Um, it turns up being a joke, and that's what the CFPB really has been, in a, in a, in a, in a sick, sad kind of way, because you've got an institution that has tremendous authority over what y'all do for a living. Democrats insist the bureau is essential to avoid another financial crisis and subsequent recession. It was originally proposed by now Democratic Senator Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts, who helped organize the bureau under the Obama administration. We asked Mick Mulvaney for an interview, but we did not get a response.